I'm at Fiber Connect in Orlando and uh, at the Nokia booth with uh, Laszlo Gailog, and we're going to be talking about, of course, the future of, of broadband. Um, you know, we, we look at where broadband has come in the past couple of years. There's been a lot of progress in terms of data rates or, or speeds getting into gigabit. Of course, at this conference, a lot of focus on, on expanding coverage as well. But as you look at the market, wh what are you seeing as the main challenges for communication service providers? Well, that's actually a great question because, albeit on one hand, service providers are already offering gigabit speeds to the home, some even multi-gigabit speeds, the problem really is in the home. I mean, if you take into account that 95% of connectivity in the home is over Wi-Fi, it means that a bad Wi-Fi connection can ruin the whole broadband experience, no matter how many gigabits per second you have to the home. And with Wi-Fi, you have multiple problems. Uh, it could be interference from your neighbor's Wi-Fi, household appliances, could also be just plain bad Wi-Fi settings. It's really complex to fine-tune your own Wi-Fi settings. So we found from market research that 40% of customers are actually complaining about their in-home connectivity. So that really is the last battleground for service providers. That is where service providers can differentiate one from another. And there's also where we as Nokia can help service providers to provide a better user experience. And that's actually why we launched Corteca. Corteca, we're here at the Corteca demo, as you said, just launched. Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about what, what Corteca is and, and what it does? Absolutely, well, a Corteca is actually our software suite for broadband devices. So what we did is to pull together all the components of software that are needed for broadband devices and fine tune them under the umbrella of Corteca. Now, the objectives are threefold. First, we want service providers to be able to be offer a better user experience. We want them to be able to generate more revenues above and beyond the basic broadband subscriptions. And we want them to be able to lower their operational expenses. Now, to do that, we have three main components in Corteca. We have the Corteca Cloud. We have the Corteca powered broadband devices, whether it is a fiber ONT or a fixed wireless access gateway or a Wi-Fi beacon, they all run on Corteca. And finally, we have the Corteca applications. These applications are actually installed on the broadband devices. So, you know, some of this stuff, um, I assume, has existed and some of it is new. Of course, hardware elements, ONTs, have been around. The, um, the, the Wi-Fi devices as, as well, I, I believe, have, have been around through, through Nokia. Um, you, you talked about uh, the, the applications, sure. and uh, I believe that's one of the, the new components. Can you uh, just kind of walk through what, what, what are some of these applications that are, are now, and, and what do you think are going to be the biggest appeal to, to operators? Well, great question. And actually, if you talk about the applications, you can look at them from two dimensions. First, some of these applications are to the benefit of the end users. Think of cybersecurity. And actually, that's a good example. If we install cybersecurity on the broadband device, it will protect the whole family, and the end users don't have to install cybersecurity software on every tablet and every uh, PC and so on. But also devices that usually cannot be protected, like IoT devices, in this implementation, they will be protected as well. We also have gaming optimization, we have Wi-Fi sensing and the like. So that's one group for, to the benefit of the end user. But we also have applications to the benefit of the service provider. Think of speed tests, but also think of a packet capture tool, which is a great troubleshooting tool. So you have these two categories already. But another dimension is to look at where these applications come from. Some of them are developed by Nokia, like the packet capturing tool developed by us. There's also a device fingerprinting tool, which we have developed. But for some other applications, we look at thought leaders. For cybersecurity, we leverage F-Secure, the thought leader in their field, but we also work with Broadpeak, Duma OS, M-Labs for speed tests. So we have actually a whole ecosystem of software developers to provide us these applications to the market. Now, talking about going to the market, there's one critical component, which is the marketplace. Service providers who are want, wanting to introduce these applications to their customers, then leverage the marketplace where they can first of all browse all these applications and see what these applications actually do. And if they want these applications for their customers, they can either bulk install them or install them on a home per home basis. So interesting, kind of like a, um, you know, somewhat of an app store model, but for, for, for these different applications exactly. for, for the broadband. And so the service provider is the one that would go through, look through and, and buy and then offer it to, to the consumer. Exactly, on, yes, on indeed. Product. Interesting. So obviously things here 
that are on the revenue generation side um, for, for service providers. When we do surveys and just talk to network operators, of course, there's kind of dual, dual themes. How do we make more money? And then how do we save more money? And then that becomes kind of the, 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 the profit piece in, in the end. Um, I know from, from looking through the press release, there's some benefits as well to Corteca on the operations saving side. Can you just talk through what are, what are the main benefits and how those work? Sure. Um, so the, the starting point is actually to allow a service provider to work in a multi-vendor environment. And we do that by providing a TR369, also known as USP support, in our cloud. So we can manage not only the Nokia devices, but we can also manage any other vendor's broadband device if they also support TR369. So that's the starting point, working on a multi-vendor network. But then with our cloud platform, we can go a number of steps further. First, we have an automatic Wi-Fi optimization. So what we do is to collect information from all the Wi-Fi points, analyze it, and then tweak all the Wi-Fi parameters. Think of channel selection, think of transmit power, so end users don't have to bother anymore with their Wi-Fi settings. That automatic Wi-Fi optimization will do that for them. But then for the network administrators, we give a network-wide view. So network administrators will get network-wide KPI reporting. They will get a perfect visibility on the performance of all the Wi-Fi points in their scope. Then for the customer care agent, also very important, we provide a real-time holistic view on the in-home environment. So if somebody calls the help desk with a problem, the help desk agent will have a real-time visibility on the topology of the in-home network, but also the connected client devices and the traffic patterns. So in no time, they can identify the problem and immediately help the customer. So the whole objective is to have fewer and shorter help desk calls. Right, interesting, right. And the visibility doesn't end at the ONT, it, it, it's all through to, to where these devices are, right through the house. Which is, which is indeed, very helpful. Indeed. Yeah. Well, it's been great catching up with you and, uh, and, and uh, look forward to seeing how this progresses. And thank you so much for the interview. You're welcome.